Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek. Subscribe, like, share. It's always appreciated. So Apple HomeKit has the button category, which is great because it allows us to take control of that right back into our hands, push those buttons, and get our house to respond how we want them to. You've got the Elgato Eve button. You've got the Fubaro The button. And typically, these have three actions they can take, single press, double press, and long press. But that's not really enough. What if you want to double that? What if you want to triple that? Well, you can do that using conditionals so that you can use a single press to turn the light on and a single press to turn the light off. Let's take a look at how we set that up. So step one is going to be making sure that your button is unconfigured. That's really important here. You do not want to have to push your button and try to figure out why is it doing what it's doing? How many actions is it taking? So basically you can, you can see here the action, single press, double press, long press. There's nothing configured here and that is exactly how we want it. So we can't set conditionals up in the native Apple Home app. So we're going to do this in the Elgato Eve app. And we're in scenes. We're going to go to triggers and we're going to add a new trigger. And this trigger is going to be when the other value happens, right? So we've got some other options down here. We've got time of day, we got location. But in this case, I want another value, which is going to be when I push that button. So let's go into the master bedroom here, scroll down to the bottom, and we're gonna find us the Elgato Eve button. There we go, slide that on. And now you can see we have three actions. So the trigger is gonna be one of those three actions, single press. So now we're saying when the Eve button, a single press happens, what do we want to do? Well, that depends on a conditional. We want to turn something on if it's off and off if it's on, right? So we're going to do a value condition here. So now I want to go looking for the device for the conditional here, and I'm going to do the conditional state. So I'm going to go into the games room, and I'm going to go look for the games room flood three, and I'm going to make sure that I evaluate its power state. So again, I want to turn the light on when it's off and off when it's on. So I got to check whether or not this thing is on or off. So I'm going to create this condition here. When the power is off, then I want to do what? Well, I'm going to have to create a scene now. So we'll go down, scroll down to the bottom here, and we're going to get an option to add a scene. And that scene is going to do what? It's going to turn the light on. So again, we're going to go into the games room. We're going to go to the games flood three plus. Uh, scrolled right by it. There we go. And I'm going to turn the power on. So that is my actions. I can create the scene name here. Now let's call it something meaningful. So I'm, I'm going to know what this was for afterwards. So the games flood on, uh, games flood three on. Let's be specific. Click on the done button. There we go. Click next. Now we're going to name our rule. And the rule is going to be games flood single press or games flood three single press on so now i know when i do a single press if it's turned off i want to turn it on so hopefully that makes sense we're working in a conditional here so we're going to evaluate the trigger you press the button if the light is turned off then turn it on so let's go in and look at the rule and we can see triggers single press power off games flood three on everything looks good here so now we're going to do the opposite and create a new rule Again, the trigger is going to be the exact same thing. So it's the other value. We'll go down to the master bedroom where we've got the button. We'll scroll down here to the bottom. And in this one, we're not going to evaluate for if the light is off. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to evaluate to see if the light is on. And if the light is on, then you turn it off. So you can see here where you're only using the single action of that single press but it's allowing us to double up the actions here. So instead of me having a single press to turn it on and a single press to turn it off or double press to turn it off, I can now use that single press. So again, we've done the evaluation. I'm going to add a new scene here. And this new scene action is, of course, I am going to go into the games room. I'm going to go to that flood three power. And this, instead of turning it on, I'm going to turn it off. Pretty simple, right? Click next. Again, meaningful name. Games, flood, three, off, done. Now we'll set the trigger name for it as well. So this kind of lets us go back in later and say, okay, well, why is that thing doing that? Well, the games, flood, three, single, press, off. 
right? So I've got something really meaningful, really, really simple to understand how it's going to work later. We can go in and evaluate this again, make sure we did the job right. Single flood off, single press when the power is off. Oh, that was the on. Now the off, single press if it's turned on, then turn it off. Pretty simple, right? Let's go take a look. So on the left hand side there, you can see the Eve button three. And now let's look at this click once comes on, click once turns off single press both directions. So it works just like a traditional light kind of cool doubles your usefulness of the buttons questions, comments, put them below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check in the video details below. There will be a link with a coupon code to my Udemy course. Thanks.